Welcome back, Nada fans. We are back with another game for the 23rd... Or, stupid acorn tournament is never going to end. Anyway, for the for this tournament today on March 22nd, 2014, I'm Shadow 363. I probably should have mentioned that far sooner. Although you could see it on the stream itself because it says that I'm casting this game. And we are going to be having a game between Pow and Draven 205 because Draven and Pow had not actually played their game yet. Daniil and Mac had, and Daniil won. And we saw Gode versus Pepe Ampere, and Gode won. So now we see Draven versus Pau, and whoever will beat, whoever wins fights Daniil. Whoever wins that between the two of them, between Daniil and whoever wins this game, will fight Pepe Ampere, and then Pepe Ampere will fight. Okay, I'm, I'm being facetious. Whoever wins between Pepe Ampere and th the winner of those between those three will fight Gode for the tournament itself. Anyway, game is being set up and it's starting. So we are once again on Supreme Lake. If it looks familiar, it should, because we just casted this game. We have Pow in purple playing Arm in the southwest side of the map, and Draven in orange, also Arm in the southeast side of the map. And neither player too focused on the north, unlike Pepe Ampere, he went for this hill right here, which left him vulnerable to seed bombardment, or more vulnerable to seed bombardment than either of the players are right now. It did mean he could get to the sea mexes, but it also meant he was vulnerable. Now. On the other hand, we do have... Actually, can I? No, I can't. Or maybe if I... Sorry. Anyway, we do have... Draven is not really being too much special. Three maxes, three solar collectors. A little bit light on economy in both cases, but looks like that's going to be okay. Neither player building a factory, so I don't know what they're going to go for first. Probably going to go for K-Bots. That's pretty typical. Like Going for an early K-Bot thing there, and then going from that into... Well, we saw in the last game we went from K-Boss to, sh to ships to hovers and air. We'll see if that's what happens for these players. I mean, people pointed out in the chat last time that Goda went for arm in order to get fast ships. And both players might be thinking that in this game, and thus we might see ships really early on. I don't imagine we'll see ships first, though. We'll see, though. Draven not yet picked a factory yet, and K-Bots will be built for POW. So, POW... Getting the early military going, and Draven getting... Where is his factory? He's not building a factory quite yet. And I... Yeah, we didn't... We've seen Pow play before. We saw Pow up against... No, it wasn't against Goda. Actually, do we see Pow? I don't think we have seen Pow yet. No, we haven't seen Pow yet. No, we've seen Draven before, and we know that he's able to handle short areas like this. We know he's able to handle dealing with small areas like this and taking the control of that. We saw him on Small Supreme Battlefield, which was really, really tedious. I mean, this at least this map, you're kind of close enough to the water, and the water's important enough that you're going to bother going sea. Small Supreme Battlefield, not so much. Not with Nada, at least. And, wow, no factory quite yet. Draven's really confident about this. Is he getting metal storage on top of that? Okay, what in the world is Draven doing? I'm very surprised he's getting storage. I really don't know why he's getting storage. I just don't even... Oh yeah, I mean, Pow played with Gota, but did I cast Pow and Gota? I don't think I did. I mean, I might have. Am I really having a hard time remembering? That hard of a time remembering things? You know, actually, I think I did. Yeah, I think I did cast that game. But, couldn't really say much because Gota is Gota. Oh yeah, right, that was on Valus Mountain Nunnus. That's right, yes, and I believe Pow didn't really expand very well, as I recall. Anyway, Draven's has the chest pointing out, probably going to rush ships, and that makes sense. While, what is, oh. Well, we have K-Bots here, we already know what's going on here. Rockos and Hammers, a little bit surprising that he's going for the Rockos. Vehicles aren't likely. I mean, they might happen, I guess Hovercrafts would be a decent counter for and also laser towers, but I think the hammers would do just fine against the laser towers. Let's see, hammers... Oh, peewees. Ah, darn it, I'm missing what it is. Rockos and... No, there are rockos and hammers. That's right. Hammers range of 590, as I mentioned before. Laser towers range of uh, 600, so they're basically equal. Good to know. Over neither player... Okay, Draven still not yet built a factory yet. Wow, Draven's really confident. I mean, Draven... Okay, now he's going for sea factory. Okay. He has 20 metal income, while, well, Pow is going for factory as well. He's going for second factory, and Pow actually is expanding this time. Whatever he did last time, he learned that lesson. He's definitely expanding to the north, and it's going to be a pretty safe expansion, too. 
there's going to be some coastal bombardment, no doubt, but it's overall going to be a relatively safe expansion, I'd say. And on the other hand, the shipyard is no, still going, okay. Nothing special about that, so the shipyard is going, and KBOT Lab is still building up Rocco's... Okay, interesting, he's not going for infinite build. But yeah, building up its Rocco's and Hammers. So, POW is going to be definitely in a better position on land. I mean, he could attack right now on land, and he'd be fine. Actually, Draven's wide open. I mean, POW... This is what I mean by scouting. If he sends one Peewee forward, just as a habit, sends a Peewee forward... Oh, okay. Pepe and Pear pointing out that Pau was panicking against Goda because he's afraid of Goda and he wasn't expanding. And actually, what am I saying? There we go. Exactly what I suggest being done is being done. Nicely done, Pau. He is scouting. He has definitely learned... Either he's learned his lesson or he's just not panicking against Draven. One way or the other. So, that is definitely useful. I'm... Like, Okay, as a general tip, don't panic. Like, just don't panic. Ever. Make sure to not panic when you're playing any game. Okay, now he's aware that Draven has basically nothing. He might send a couple other Peewees forward just to try to avoid that laser, just try to get further in. But yeah, Draven, he has a Crusader. That's what he's going for right now. He's going for Crusader and then Conquistador. And a Blotter just to make sure he can avoid Radar. At this point, how? Let's see what he has. No, this, never mind, that's Draven. Draven has radar. He has radar on this hill here. Weird place to put it, but it's there. Weird place to put it because it's just the positioning. On the other hand, there's a nice mobile radar here. Nice marquee, just keeping tabs on the sea. So both players are pretty aware of what's going on there. And Sea Factory Excalibur being built up for Pow and Draven, still with his Crusader. I'm not entirely sure... Like I said before, what the exact difference is between the two? I think Excalibur, like, oh yeah, it's, it's a lighter cruiser. That's what it is. It's cheaper and lighter. It's like about half the cost and lighter. So it's a lighter cruiser. Pow is moving into position. He definitely wants to push in. If he gets rid of this laser tower, he's basically won the game, actually. He just got to push. Actually, the Peewees won't. The Peewees will do nothing, but the Hammers certainly will. I think he's waiting for those to get in there. Grouping up the Hammers. The Crusader is going to be something of a threat. You have to be careful about that. Not the biggest threat. I mean, it's going to be a pain more than anything, but enough hammers, that'll work. And, okay, Spring Snack in the chat pointing out, needing adrenaline. No, panicking is not adrenaline. Panicking is just freezing up and not doing anything. I mean, it's not a fight response. It's a freeze response. There's a big difference between the two. And we saw that difference. I mean, we see Powell right now. This is more of a fight response. Actually, this is more of a knowing what he's doing response. Against Goda, that was a freeze response. And the Crusader is up... Excalibur is not quite up yet. Or the Excalibur, I should say. And... Well, actually, no, some Rockos in here, too. There's a Rockos mixed in. Rockos are here, some Hammers are here. That Crusader is hitting a bit, but right now, he just needs to push in. Like, if he pushes in, this Crusader, yeah, some support. Let's see, what can... Oh, never mind, the Crusader can actually hit everything. Okay, yeah, pushing in right now wouldn't be the best idea. Regroup, and then push in. And why is this... I think that's a that's a miss micro, that's a miss relay or miss rally. That is a miss rally. He needs to move this back, reclaim some here, maybe build some more metal extractors. Right now, though, moving in is fine. Oh, oops! You're gonna turn the sound on. There's no music in Nada, so I forget to turn the sound on a lot of the time. Sorry about that. I forget until explosions start happening, and then oh yeah, right. There's no sound. Anyway, these units here. They can move in, and they are! They are moving in, they're gonna get rid of these laser turrets, and I think that is going to do it, actually. I mean, this Crusader is helping out, and the Conquistador is coming, but the Conquistador is not gonna be there for another two minutes. The Crusader could actually be taken out by the hammers pretty well. But the hammers are more focused on getting rid of the laser turrets. And actually, wow, these are actually more powerful than I expected. But the laser towers are going down. Taking a lot of units with them, though. But they are still going down, and that is actually quite a lot of damage. They are down, though, and from here on out, harassment is basically free. The Crusader will be able to get in the way. It will be a pain in the butt, but it won't be a problem. There won't be that big of a problem as there was before. And is the laser tower getting resurrected? No, another one's being built. Another laser tower is being constructed behind the solar plants. Still, wow, right now, Draven just lost his radar. He still has some radar on the sea. I mean, he has the Crusader, so it's not the biggest loss. But now, massive economic disadvantage. Pow is a huge economy. He's expanded to the north very well. Draven did not expand to the north at all. 
and ships are coming up. Excalibur is up. The Crusader is up. Or Excalibur is up before. The Crusaders are coming up as well. And a hovercraft platform on top of all this. And at this point, Pow is actually excessing a little bit. He's not quite excessing. He's actually draining metal faster than he's getting it. But still, he is doing very well here. All he needs to do is hold the line. He needs to consolidate a bit, build up a good army, and then push forward. Because right now, only the ship factor exists. Nothing exists in the north. Draven does not have anything to really fight with. The Conquistador will be a problem once that's done. That's the one thing. But the laser turret is just not going to be possible. You can't get to it. It's really not going to work. And boxes of death, too. I haven't seen those before. But yeah, defensive turrets behind the solar... I mean, defensive turrets behind solar plants in general are hard to get to. It's not usually worth it. And these peewees are... Well, they're seeing what's going on before they die horribly. I mean, the Crusader is doing nice bombardment on the side. Now, at the same time, Excalibur is coming in here from the north. It's going to find the Conquistador. It, it's going to lose to it. I mean, that it's not going to kill the factory in time. It's going to try to do what it can, but it won't kill in time. However, still good scouting. That's what he needs. He needs information, and he has information. He knows what's going on. He knows that a Conquistador is coming, and he has to deal with that. Crusaders are coming up. Conquistador for POW as well. Both players are going for that. Hovercraft Constructor is being built up. It should be pretty good for getting all of these metal extractors built up nicely. Of course, they are over land, or on water metal extractors. They aren't underwater metal extractors. I don't believe they can. Nope. Has to be floating. You have to get the submarine constructor from the sea factory in order to make that work. Or the shipyard, rather. And another K-Bot lab up. This is not being used. Pow needs to use this. Once again, multitasking, but just pointing that out. Multitasking is a very important skill. And this K-Bot lab not being used. I don't where is he focused on? Okay, nope, still not being used. Where is Pow focusing on? I don't see his cursor on the map anywhere. Not sure where his focus lies, but it's not at that K-Bot lab that's being done. Not that, I mean, that is still kind of a concern. That's a bit of a big deal. Bigger deal is the Conquistador here, and Pow is wisely avoiding that. He can't fight it head-on at this point. He is going to get one of his own fairly soon, but not soon enough. It's going to be about three minutes, actually five minutes, with the Crusaders in the way before the Conquistador of his own is done. Right now, maybe building construction hovercrafts or getting skimmers. I don't know how well it's going to last. This is probably just going to take fire, but there's so many weapons on a ship, I don't think it's going to matter too much. And this... Oh, the Excalibur to the north taking a lot of damage from the railgun shots. It's pretty much dead. As soon as the Conquistador gets a clear shot at it, which is basically now, it's going to go down. And down it goes. Or, not quite. No, it managed to dodge that shot, but after that, it's going to go down. Oh, wow, that's actually really lucky. That, that's a really lucky ship right now. And now it goes down. Wasting some of the time. Did did that be... Was that used well? Did they get used well? I mean, that's what I want to know. Did Pow use that time? Did he use that distraction? I mean, these Crusaders are not in a bad spot to deal with a Crusader that's up for Draven, but the Conquistador is still a bit of a problem. And I don't know if they're going to last long. I think the Conquistador is going to come around the island quickly enough. And that Crusader might go down, but... I think both are going to be lost for Dra for Pow at this point. Draven's not even going to lose his own. Pow is retreating with his with his Crusaders. They're not going to do too much damage. There, are, no one's actually repairing the ships. By the way, unlike the last game, not a lot of ship repairs come up yet. A lot of construction hover. No, these are skimmers. These are not construction hovercraft. This is the one construction hovercraft in the. Or there's two in the game. But that's it. There's only two. One for each player. Hovercraft factory is up for Draven as well. And. Looks like another possible light bot assault coming from the bottom. Now, like I said, this k lab, why is it not being used up? Because like, it's nearly excessing. Nearly excessing for POW. He needs to use this. I don't know why he is not paying attention to this factory. It's been like, two minutes at least since he built that. And more Crusaders coming up to try to deal with the Conquistador. That's going to be tough. Skimmers as well to try to deal with her, at least distract it. Dealing a bit of damage, but not very much. These do not deal a whole lot of damage with each shot. Like... Yeah, 312 damage from the looks of it. Or is that? Oh, never mind. That is range. That is damage. Okay, 542 damage is for the Crusader. The Skimmer, on the other hand, is 66 damage a shot. That is nothing. That's you have to deal with 6,000 health. That's a, that's an easy 100 shots that it has to fire off and not die during. However, getting rid of the metal charges is not as big of a deal. And. Draven is still down in the economy. This thing, Draven's economy is not great. That's one thing to bear in mind. 
he's lost a couple of metal extractors as well, and these skimmers are trying to do what they can to the shipyard. It's going to be hard to do. It's going to be a lot of shots to kill that thing, but they fire relatively quickly. Still, coming in with samurai, that will... That's artillery. Okay, so that's going to get him at range. However, artillery, of course, I was about to say are inaccurate at range, but never mind. Apparently not. So, Draven still defending against this. And now, now Powell sees what's going on. That Draven has not actually built up any economy to the north, and Draven is basically entirely his main base. That's it. And that he has a massive economic advantage. And he has a massive, is a three times economic advantage. The only advantage Draven has is the Conquistador. And that is it. And actually, looks like some time was bought. Enough time to get this, oh, well, get a blotter out. And then get the Conquistador out for POW. Once he gets the Conquistador out, he actually should have a chance. It would come down to Micro at that point, but he actually might have a chance at that point. And a bot attack of the south not doing enough. Snipers trying to do what they can, but they do not have a great range. And they're actually worse range than this box of death, that's for sure. So the sniper not doing much at all. And I've heard snipers, I mean, Draven actually was talking to him earlier, and he said snipers really aren't that great. Like, in terms of range, they just don't go. And no, Draven isn't accessing. Draven is 24 metal and, 50, and 60 in spending. Pow has 60 metal income and 90 in spending. Neither player is accessing, but Pow is a massive economic advantage compared to Draven. However, Draven is pushing out the Conquistador. He wants to just, I guess, try to finish this sooner rather than later, knowing he has economic disadvantage. Or at least Pow knows he has the economic disadvantage. Pow knows he's ahead here, quite a ways. And Draven moving away, not really attacking with the Conquistador. Crusader and a Blotter. And the Blotter is nice, because that does mean... I like, see the red here? That is stuff that cannot be seen thanks to Pow's jammer. It's not really obvious here, because the radar shadow doesn't show it, but yeah, from Pow's point of view, we do see that the red circle here, nothing inside there can be seen on radar. It can be seen by line of, by direct line of sight, but not by radar. And in about two minutes or so, Pow will have a nice conquistador of his own. At the same time, getting a ton of skimmers. Now, Samurai were being built up for Draven, but Draven is low on metal. He has a few of these, but they probably aren't going to last that long, especially once ships come into... Actually, ships come to bear their guns on them. That's going to kill them off completely. Though both players actually do have blotters, I should point out. Both players have radar jammers. Both players are hiding their army size. And another minute and a half for the Conquistador to be set up. So Pow has to still wait a little bit. And now he's finally started paying attention to the factory. He probably paid attention to it a little while earlier. But now he is paying attention to it, building a ton of hammers. Just pumping those guys out. Should group them up. And then once he has fully grouped them up, push forward. Get rid of all these defensive structures. Box of Death and the Laser Turret, and that's it. After that, he should be able to do some more harassment, deal with this stuff pretty well. Get rid of the radar. Get rid of, If he gets rid of the Hovercraft Factor, this is going to be a big deal. Because that'll be just ships for Draven. And Draven's still behind. The thing is, if this Conquistador goes down, then at that point, Pow can just move in and deal with everything that Draven has. But with Draven going for a Conqueror, Battlecruiser, even more powerful expensive ship than Conquistador. So maybe it's not quite so simple, not quite so cut and dry at this point. A lot of skimmers though, and that's where Pow was trying to get his advantage, is not so much in more sea, but in more hovers. Getting dozens upon dozens of skimmers, say like three dozen skimmers so far. Really spending his metal there, and now finally he's running out of metal, but it doesn't matter. He is, he still has at least twice the metal of Draven, and now trying to kill off this shipyard. Good time to do it too, before that battle cruiser comes up, though even then, it's going to be really tough. The Samurai are dealing with it well enough. They're dealing... Actually, are they hitting... I think they're hitting the shipyard as much as they're hitting the skirmish... Or the, the skimmers that are trying to get rid of it. And yes, they are. They actually stopped the Conqueror construction. Yeah, in fact, this shipyard is taking more damage from friendly fire. That is a... I don't know if that was the tactic Pow was going for, but it certainly worked out for him. So that shipyard is... That, okay, Draven's throwing the towel, realizing he can't do much against that. And probably realizing I can't do much against the stuff going on at the bottom here. I mean, he has radar coverage. No, he doesn't, actually. Doesn't matter, though. Throws in the towel. And that is game. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Because we'll have another one between Pau and Daniel Kalina fairly shortly. But if you're sick of Supreme Lake, that's fine. Because that will not be the game next. So that, that was the game. 
So yeah, Draven... Draven loses to Pau. Pau will fight Daniil, and then the winner of that fights Pepe Ampere. And the winner of that fights God. Good day. So yeah, well done to Pau. I did not expect him to win, but he did. And he won handily, too. So it really is apparently just Goda that he has a problem with. So if he can get over that, he actually... Well, if he... See how he does against Daniil and Pepe Ampere, assuming he wins against Daniil. But if he does, then that's going to be a pretty exciting finals, because I expected Pepe... I mean, most people expect Pepe Ampere and Goda as the f grand finals, but... This might actually be a little bit different. Anyway, Draven has been knocked out of the tournament. Pau moves on, and then we will have... There we go. Brackets updated. Then we will have Daniil Kalina and Pau shortly. Stay tuned.